three sides to the story. Your side of the story, my side of the story, and the side of the truth. I have no idea. Well, you don't know. Jimmy Fallon doesn't know. David Letterman doesn't know. Well, we don't know. All the comics and show business don't know what this is. <laughs> right? Yeah. What is it? Come on, Jimmy. Seriously, the time is up. People are hip to this kind of stuff. I, I'm here tonight to blow the lid off it, to be the whistleblower. I'm sick and tired of the secrets and the lies. It is the secret symbol of the Luminati, and you're a part of it. And it is uh, the all mocking tongue. Oh, I like it. <laughs> it is a scraping. It's the symbol of the all mocking tongue. <laughs> and I'm sick of it. I want everybody to be in on the joke, man. You know what I mean? Like, it, for years now, talk show hosts, people on television, people in sitcoms have been hired by the government to. <laughs> throw you off the track, to distract you, to make you laugh and stuff like that, make you happy and docile so you don't know what's really going on, you know? And they get out there in the woods in a circle naked and they decide these things and, you know, <clears throat> and you know, look at them, look at them trying to, <laughs> look at them trying to come up. It's hilarious, hilarious. And, you know, and I'm sick of, oh, hold on a second. You know what they're trying to do? Who? This thing is buzzing, hold on. They're trying to turn us into, you know, uh, you know, consumer drones of some sort. Hold on, I just got to get this. And yeah. Yeah. Listen, I'm in the middle of blowing the lid off some. Uh... <laughs> what happened? I'm sorry, Jimmy. I was temporarily interrupted by my iPhone 6 Plus. <laughs> But draw near hither, ye sons of the sorceress, the seed of the adulterer and the whore. Against whom do ye sport yourselves? Against whom make ye a wide mouth, and draw out the tongue? Are ye not children of transgression, a seed of falsehood? Inflaming yourselves with idols under every green tree, slaying the children in the valleys under the cliffs of the rocks? You think that combination's safe in your mind, Stanford? We'll see what my new minion has to say about that. Triangulum, entangulum, Vinny Forest, Dominus Mentium, Vinny Forest, Vinicius Armium! Lick that elbow, lick that elbow! Like the infinite horizon, it eludes my grasp. <laughs> is that who I think it is? Oh, oh, Gravity Falls, it is good to be back. Name's Bill Cipher. And I take it you're some kind of living ventriloquist dummy? <laughs> I'm just kidding, I know who you are, Gideon. What, what are you? H how do you know my name? Oh, I know lots of things. Lots of things. Hey, look what I can do.
deer teeth. For you, kid. <laughs> You're insane! Sure I am. What's your point? Listen to me, demon! I have a job for you! I need you to enter the mind of Stanford Pines and steal the code to a safe! There's a powerful connection between the dollar and Taco Bell. Because it unlocks a world of 20 decadent menu items from breakfast to late night for just a dollar each. 20 items for a dollar. 20 steps on the pyramid. Who's really behind this? Is it the Illuminati or the Bell Illuminati? Experience the power of the dollar at Taco Bell. In Hosea, God warns that his people perish for lack of knowledge. Are we any better than those to whom he's speaking when we have all of these signs and symbols right in front of our faces and we completely ignore them? They're not only after the adults, they're after our kids. You saw earlier in this video, Gravity Falls. That's a kid's show with the big pyramid demon coming out of the portal. And here you have Nickelodeon right in front of you, with all its eye symbolism, the lightning bolt. Like Satan fell from heaven like lightning. The symbolism is everywhere. We just have to wake up, we have to pay attention. We cannot let this sneak into our homes and take over our families. There is a secret society out there, and their plans are nefarious, and their works are against God and what is good and what is righteous. It is evil and we have to protect ourselves and our loved ones. Hello, Brother Roger. Come right in, Brother Squidward. Thank you. This almost makes the other 353 days worth living for. For centuries, cephalopods have had but one nemesis. Let he among you who wishes to join the large face your greatest fear. Cantankerous Moray Ilias! <laughs> I'll never forget my initiation ceremony. SpongeBob, Patrick, did you follow me here? Brother Squidward? For thousands of years, no outsiders have witnessed this sacred initiation. You have desecrated the sanctity of this lodge. But, but, I, 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 I. Martin Lawrence is the guy that showed everybody you can make it from D.C. to Hollywood. And, uh... I had a personal stake in his success. Every time he did something, it made me feel inspired and really good. And he was always real nice to me. He'd sit me down, what's going on with you, baby boy? What, what, we talk about comedy, whatever. And, uh, you know, when we did Blue Streak, we were promoting it, and Martin had a stroke. He almost died. And then after that, I saw him, and I was like, oh my God, Martin, are you okay? And he said, I got the best sleep I ever got in my life. <laughs> That's how tough he is. So let me ask you this. What is happening in Hollywood that a guy that tough will be on the street waving a gun, screaming, they are trying to kill me?
Yeah. What's going on? Why is Dave Chappelle going to Africa? Why does Mariah Carey make a $100 million deal and take a clothes off on TRL? It, a weak person cannot get to sit here and talk to you. There ain't no weak people talking to you. So what is happening in Hollywood? Nobody knows. The worst thing to call somebody is crazy, is dismissive. I don't understand this person, so they're crazy. That's bullshit. These people are not crazy, they're strong people. Maybe the environment is a little sick.